we're now going to go on to calculations involving more than one variable. Let's see, try to work out how fast something's going. You might know the time and the distance, and divide one by the other. So you've got two variables, time and distance, both of which might have their uncertainty. So how do you combine things in this situation? Now before we go any further, there is a tricky point we have to understand here. It's crucial to understand whether your two or more variables are correlated or uncorrelated. I mean, let's say, for example, I'm trying to work out how long it takes for this to fall. And I use a stopwatch. I might have a stopwatch at the beginning and at the end. So it's two measurements, both of which have an uncertainty, the start time and the end time. Are they correlated or uncorrelated? Well, probably correlated to some extent. In both cases, there's going to be an uncertainty because of my reaction time. I will usually press the button after it's actually dropped. And that uncertainty will be the same for the top and the bottom. Also, if something's wrong with a stopwatch, let's say it runs a bit faster or a bit slow, that will affect both measurements. If, on the other hand, I measure the time and compare it to the distance as measured with a ruler, like this one, then there'll be an uncertainty in the distance. This ruler is probably not perfect. It will expand and shrink. I might measure the position slightly wrong on it. But that uncertainty will be uncorrelated with the uncertainty in the time. An error in the stopwatch and an error in the ruler don't have much to do with each other. It's really important to get this right. Arguably getting it wrong caused the global financial crisis. A lot of the finance people looked at mortgages in different parts of the United States. So for example, what is the probability of someone defaulting on their mortgage in California versus someone in Florida versus someone in New York? And they thought people you know, would default on their mortgage because they lost their jobs and get divorced or something like that. And there's a certain percentage of people for whom this happens every month or year. But the odds of Fred in New York and Samantha in California losing their job shouldn't be correlated. So they assumed this was the case and that was built into all their financial models. But when the global financial crisis hit, people lost their jobs all over the country and mortgages were defaulting left, right and centre, very correlated. And suddenly their losses were much bigger than they thought they were and nearly toppled the global financial system. So it's important to understand whether uncertainties are correlated or uncorrelated.